Welcome back to the show. Sure, it's popular to have a dog or cat at your home, but what about a chicken? Well, a new book called Let's All Keep Chickens says adding backyard chickens to your life may not be as difficult as you think. Author Dahlia Monteroso joins us now with one of her feathered friends. Who is this? This is Binky. Oh, Binky is so <laughs> sweet. Has just been sitting here this whole time. Yes. What kind of chicken is Binky? Binky is a mix. She's a mix. Uh, she's a bantam mix. So she is a silky and some other chicken I have running around. Oh. Uh, my chicken yard, so <laughs> she was born in my chicken yard. How many chickens do you have? Oh gosh, uh, 33. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and four ducks. Oh, they're all gonna be so jealous you got to be here today, <laughs> Binky. Um, so you say keeping chickens is not just, you know, something to, to, to have to, to provide food for your family, but it's also a way to help bring peace to our chaotic lives. What do you mean by that? Well, I think it's really important for all of us to have a connection with nature. Mm -hmm. And I love my modern life. I'm on my phone all the time. Yep. Uh, you know, I have I, I have a fast paced life. But when you keep chickens, you have to go outside every day. Yeah. You spend time with every day with them every day. And it's just this connection with nature that can really bring um, for me. It brings peace and joy into my life. Yeah. And I want everybody to have that. I, I can absolutely see what you mean by that. And I think it's an important thing that we all remember. Uh, uh, also, on top of the fact that it can bring calm and peace and a connection to nature, it's also great to have access to chickens for your family, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I look at it as eat the fresh eggs are like the perk. Mm -hmm. um, many people keep them just for eggs. Mine are like pets and as for eggs. Mm -hmm. um, but I say, you know, any chicken that's not in a factory farm is good with me. You yeah. know, I'm happy when people have chickens in their backyard. I don't know if y'all have ever had a friend who keeps chickens and then they give you their eggs. It's a it's a different experience. I mean, these eggs are amazing. They are. They nothing <laughs> like them when you I remember and they're all pretty colors. It's just it's amazing. All right. Uh, so you have this book out right now. Let's all keep chickens. Why did you decide to write this book and what can people take away from it? Well, it's a beginner book. Mm -hmm. So people that are getting started with chickens or if they've had chickens for a little while and they just kind of want to lean in a more natural direction, okay. um, this would be a great book for them just to get information about okay. how to do that. Yeah. But the other thing I wanted to do because there are many, many chicken books out there. So I knew I had to do something different. Um, I really want to bring the meaning back into chicken keeping. Mm -hmm. I want us to kind of connect with each other that way because there are very few cultures in the world that don't have chicken keeping as part of their ancestry. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a way for us to kind of connect with each other and of course connect with nature. So that's how I, uh, I wanted to make it a little bit different just to bring that meaning back. And when you think about all of our families who in, in the United States even, we look back yep. at history. I mean, everyone had farms or, or chickens yes. or vegetables that they grew if they had the land. So, I mean, do you feel like we've gotten really far from that as a society, as humanity? Uh, yeah, I mean, I grew up completely disconnected from that. Mm -hmm. So when I got chickens, I was just shocked at how it just kind of brought this part out of me that I didn't know was missing, but mm -hmm. I really needed. Yeah. So I, I just think it's very important to, for us to have that connection. And so that's why I tell everybody, you just gotta have some chickens in your backyard. If all the chickens are <laughs> as sweet as Binky, I'm ready for it. I grew up in a condominium for most of my life, so like I never had that access, but I think it's just such a lovely thing to have now. What are some of the biggest do's and don'ts when it comes to keeping chickens? <sighs> you know, what I tell people is mm -hmm. to remember that human beings have been keeping chickens for thousands of years. <laughs> so don't try and reinvent the wheel. You okay. know, this is something that is inside of us. It's in our DNA. So I think, you know, especially in the Western world, we have a tendency to really complicate things. Don't do that. You All know, right. just think about how chickens live, like how they would live naturally. Try to get as close to that as you can. Okay. Remember that chickens have been by our side through all kinds of things, through war, through famine, uh, natural disasters. They've been by our sides and they are very adaptable. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think the greatest lesson we've learned today is that keeping chickens is part of our DNA. I'll subscribe to that. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right.